I was practicing as a GP in Glasgow, in Scotland, before I came to Australia. I worked in Brisbane in the hospital system before I'd done my GP training, had a great time and went home and thought that was the end of it. Then I met an Australian girl in Edinburgh and we lived there for five years and then when we had our first kid we came back here because she wanted to come home and I was more than happy to join her. It's just a wonderful, wonderful place to raise children. We were meant to move to Brisbane. Because I was an overseas doctor, we had to move to the so-called country and they put us in Calandra. And we thought we'd come here for two years and go back to Brisbane. After about three months, we thought we can't leave. It's beautiful. So here we are. It's got a population of maybe 300,000 people, but it still feels kind of like a big village rather than a, a city. And we have a, a capital city an hour, an hour and a half's drive away but um, we have all the beaches and the hinterland and it's beautiful. Life is just easier here. I, don't get me wrong, I love Scotland a bit. and many, many, many happy years over there, but life is just easier here. Work is easier, it's better hours. I hardly do any home visits. I work in an environment where I can investigate patients fully. I have access to pathology, to radiology. It, it's almost as good as working in the hospital system. You're very well supported, we have wonderful facilities, wonderful equipment. I was in Scotland recently, I was talking to many of my colleagues who are still GPs over there and they're all burnt out and they're all ready to retire. I still enjoy work. I'll go home today, I will take the dogs to the beach, I play tennis twice a week, I play golf, we eat outside every day. Every time I open the curtains, it's blue skies. It didn't take me long to get the, the hang of the Australian system. It's, it, it's fairly straightforward. Especially if you come to one of the bigger practices, you have any number of other doctors that will help guide you through. It's not hard. My view of Okra as services provider is definitely positive. There is very, very open communication and any problems can get raised and they're, 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 they're addressed. One of the, the most positive things about OCR is the clinical independence. There is enormous flexibility. As far as the operating system, we have excellent IT. When there is a significant issue, they are very, very quick to resolve it. So we don't have a lot of downtime. You have the physios, you, we have an ophthalmologist, we have a podiatrist, we have a dietitian, we have a chemist downstairs, and we all eat lunch together and mingle. It works very, very smoothly. I took six weeks holiday last year and went to the UK. That is not a problem. My colleagues covered me very well when I was away and I'm now covering some of theirs. It's very easy. In the OCR setup, if a GP wants to have a special interest, they, it's absolutely encouraged. Whether that be women's health, paediatrics, skin. I don't have a particular special interest. I like general practice, but certainly I do know that the people that choose to have an interest are well supported because any of these things are a good thing for us and for OCA. The best thing about GP, you get to use all your knowledge that you learnt when you were a medical student, be that dermatology, gynaecology, geriatrics, psychiatry. I guess another really big thing is relationships and getting to know people, getting to know whole families of people and getting to know them over time. That's a really wonderful thing. 